Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video, we will learn how to manage the model URLs better. So let me give you the scenario here. So we're gonna pull up a contact, uh, we're gonna pull up an account and pull the, the list of contacts that reside under that account. And what we wanna do here is once we create edit contact, it will open a pop-up modal window and we will be able to edit the contact details there. Um, let's just see how this looks like. So I've got everything almost figured out. And let's say we select an account and we get the contacts. And when we click, once we click here, we want to um, have a model open that will be able to edit the contact details. So let's, uh, let's set this up. So what I've done here is just add a custom action on the table and it returns the contact ID to my hidden here and I will create a condition for this. If it's not empty, then what I want to happen is, is redirect open modal and what we will select here is modal and let's do 900 by 900 and select the URL, which what we're going to talk about in a minute. In this instance, I'll do other, which is uh, what most people do. I'll go to my uh, form that I want to that I want to uh, pop up. And the only thing I need is to grab the contact ID field. And so I'll put in the URL and set parameters. And we want to pass in the contact ID custom table action and pass it to FLD 54 in my Mondial window, which is great. We'll hit apply, apply, and apply, save this, and let's see how this looks. So we're gonna open the United Oil again and click edit contact and now we can change things around and have it, uh, obviously I didn't do the size right so it doesn't look so good but we're here to talk about how to manage the URLs better. So the issue with this here, once I've done the static and let's just go back to the URL once I've done this static, then let's say we're developing on a sandbox environment and form Titan, this URL will not be valid for the live. Once you export this, then the URL will change. So what we want to do here is set it up dynamically so we can set up on our Salesforce environment the URLs for these modals. So first thing let's do, um, let's head over to my uh, form URL. I'm gonna go to general and give it a normal name and say manage URLs. That's great. And do the same for the contact and say manage contact. And that's gonna be my URL. So let's grab this. And what I've set up on Salesforce before, I created a custom met metadata, um, very simple one. It's called, I named it, you can name it whatever you want, Titan Form Mapping. And what we're doing here, the only custom field I've added is a um, URL. So I named it Form URL and gave it the URL. And once I click Manage Titan Form Mapping, uh, you can see I already have uh, one set up here. I'm gonna hit new and say update contact modal. And I'm, I'm getting by Salesforce the mapping name dynamically and the form URL will be the modal URL that we pasted from here. Okay, so let's save this metadata. And this is saved, wonderful. The only thing I need is the mapping name. Now what I'm gonna do is add a hidden that will contain my modal name. So let's name this uh, update contact modal URL. Okay, just make it bigger so we'll be able to view how this works. And I'm gonna head over to Salesforce integration, add an object and I'm going to execute it on form load, get model URL 
from metadata. Wonderful. And now we're going to look for our Titan metadata. So Titan for mappings, this is the metadata name. And my condition is fairly simple. I'm going to say custom metadata record name equals to my name here. We'll do other and equals to this. Hit apply and just map the update contact model URL to my form URL custom field in the metadata. I'll hit apply and save. Now let's see how this works. We'll refresh. I changed the URL for this, so let's publish this again. Wonderful. And let's view the um, hidden fields. So debug mode show hidden fields just to see that this works. And I'll refresh. And we can see that we got our model URL dynamically from Salesforce. Now what will happen is every time you uh, change an environment and you set up the custom metadata on the new environment, then you will always get the correct um, model URL. The only thing we have left to do is to hook it up to our um, pop-up condition. So I'm gonna head over to my condition and click the configure results, redirect open modal, and instead of redirecting to other and having something static here, I'm going to redirect it to update contact modal URL. And now let's make the width uh, 1200 and hit apply and apply and let's see how this works. Let's refresh. So I got my URL. Now I'm gonna look for some uh, accounts. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's select edit contact and we can see that our correct um, modal is being popped up. Now, once I, again, once I publish this to my production environment in Form Titan and in Salesforce, and you have this custom metadata, you can control this and have this always pointing to the correct uh, URL. And this is how it's done.